back to the channel. Uh, this evening I'm going to be doing a video on me wrapping the trim around the windshield of the 350. Um, I've, seen, uh, I've seen it done once or twice on a couple of roadsters and it makes a big difference aesthetically wise in my opinion. Uh, it, it'll blend in the top with the front part of the windshield, gives it kind of like a two-tone look. So yeah, that's the plan. It's not going to be um, a step-by-step -step video or anything because I'm new at this myself. So I'm just going to be doing, um, I'm going to do a time lapse of it. And yeah, it's going to be, uh, I'll just show you what I'm going through to get the job done. And we can go from there. First, I'm going to start with the driver's side trim. Uh, as you can see on the Roadsters, the windshield is in three different pieces. So it's the two sides and the top. So I'm going to do this part first. Uh, I'm going to pop the top just so I got easier access. And uh, yeah. see in the uh, time lapse of me flipping out and throwing in the garbage so we'll see So I got the driver's side trim done. Came out pretty good. I'm pleased with it so far. Um, even on the inside, came out nice. If you can see it. Yeah, the lines are all nice. Not too many. Uh, not too many wrinkles. I'm I'm pleased with it. So I'm gonna do the. Uh, I'll probably do the, the uh, passenger side trim next, and then I'll tackle this long one in the middle. the top of the window frame uh, it was a little bit more difficult than this uh, side piece but uh, yeah for the most part it came out pretty good I uh, so just as a tip when you can see it in the time-lapse but I um, when I started it off I tucked it in underneath this top trim the whole way down and then and slowly made my way and then afterwards I trimmed the edge of the rack as close as I could to this crease and then I took my uh, my blade and then I pushed it down tucked it back over this lip down inside this lip so you can't see the edge yeah that's that okay now that we're finished the uh, top piece on the windshield I'm now gonna do the uh, this side, other side trim on the faster side and I'd like to mention I got this knifeless tape from a buddy of mine, Jeff Guy. You can also check him out in the channel. Uh, yeah, he had this bot, never used it, so he gave it to me. I'm going to give it a shot. We will see what it's like.
Okay, next on the agenda, I'm going to try for the mirror and see how that goes. Um, just to give the car that full two-tone look. It be, might be a challenging mirror, but yeah, we're going to give it a shot, see how it goes. And yeah, I'll do a, uh, do a time lapse of that. Just finished up the driver's side mirror. Uh, it was definitely challenging. Took a bit of time to get uh, to get used to it, to the feel and the stretch of the material. Um, so I did it in two pieces. Um, I ended up on this seam here. I made a, I made a I made a join because when I did the top, uh, by the time I get down to this seam, it started stretching a bit. Uh, I actually got it down underneath here. The material I actually had it underneath. But uh, it was quite stretched and quite out of shape. So anyway, I brought the material um, further up. Probably a little higher than what I wanted to. Um, I would have liked to have at least kept it chasing this seam, like the, where the plastic meets the, the, the mirror meets this mount. So it would have been less visible. But anyway, I don't know how long this is going to last when I wash the car. So I probably will end up changing it anyways. Uh, when I wash it or it sees any weather or whatever. Um, so when I do, I'm going to do the passenger side now. And I'm going to try to keep the seam on the bottom. More, uh, more towards the bottom of the car. On this, on the, uh, chasing the mount. Just so it's less visible. So on to the passenger side. passenger side mirror I'm pleased with the way it turned out it was definitely easier to do than the driver side mirror just because I'm a little bit more experienced with the with the wrapping now I got more of a feel for it like how much to heat the wrap how much how much I can stretch it etc and um, yeah it's no, by no means a professional job this is like keep in mind that is my first time wrapping anything so we'll see now if it lasts this season. If it doesn't, I'll uh, make another attempt to wrap it again, or I'll just paint paint every, everything black that I want to paint, or uh, have black. So that's that. That's it for the wraps. I'll give you a full view of the car, of the top anyway. I also got the handles painted in the meantime, in the middle of the uh, in the middle of the of the wrap job. So that's kind of the two tone look that I was going for, with the black tinted windows. So if you guys uh, enjoyed the video, shoot it a like, give the uh, Jigs and Wheels channel a subscribe, and yeah, there's going to be a lot more content flowing your way. It's going to be uh, it's going to be a fun season. So okay, so that's it. See you guys in the next video.